Where's Penelope? Shirt sure confuses me. Yeah. Hudson what? Yo, okay. so you loyalist. Ooh! That's a little tight for her. Come on, Ava! That VP money! I used to like her. Shut up, man! Yeah. Stop calling her bitch, man. But calm this down, sis. She got the job! They are trolling us. No, I'm not Nancy. I'm Nancy. Here we go. I think that Sabrina is actually bugging right now. Ooh! I still think that Danny feels like she's in competition with all of them. Why are you not telling him? Mm, it's, it's a little different. She go back up. Oh, that made her feel so good. Andy, you ain't have to do that. This is not going well. Been down to I didn't have to see Fatima now. Don't pull a thing out. I'm about to make Pam a, a sister. We already knew it. What up, y'all? And welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love. With me, your girl Donna Rizzo. As we're here to recap, not just any episode, we are recapping the mid-season finale for Tyler Perry's Sisters season seven. This is me and my mid-season finale attire. I have no idea why I did this. I just thought about finale, premiere, you gotta put on your fur, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's also 70 degrees out, so this is not gonna last past the intro. If you are new here, my name is Donna Rizzo. You may have seen me on Married at First Sight, Decision Day Dish, across all things. If you're an Insecure fan, if you're a Rap Shit fan, you may have seen me and Jonna Caboose recapping one of the episodes for Issa Rae's Rap Shit. If you're a fan of Black Scripted, if you're a fan of Black Reality TV, you may have seen me all over every place and all that good stuff. But if this is your first time here, one, welcome. Two, this is not like other recap series that you may see. This is a live reaction recap. So, I have not watched this episode yet. I know, you're like, what am I doing here? I'm trying to get a post-show reaction. No, I am giving you a live reaction recap, which means I will be watching the show and giving you my experiences, my expressions, how I feel, what I think, my predictions as the show goes on. I will also, oh, and I'll be posting a couple snippets and clips here so you know what it is I'm referring to. If I pull out some things that maybe you might not have seen, I'm gonna make sure that I pull it up here so I can reference this so you guys know what it is I'm talking about. This is a chatty bunch. Make sure you listen throughout the episode and especially through the end because I will be asking you guys a question I want you guys to engage with in the comments. If you came from the video from last week, you will notice that my question last week was, the three ladies aren't gonna make it, right? Sabrina and Tony, first of all, I just tried to say Sabrina and Tony, which several of us have said, maybe Danny and Sabrina need to swap folks. And you know, this Freudian slip may actually be right. Sabrina and Rich might not make it. Then we got Andy and Jordan, and then we have Danny and Tony. The three of them can't make it. There's just no way that the writers are gonna be like, oh, you met these random guys, all three of them are friends, all three of y'all are y'all friends, all of you guys are gonna live happily ever after. It's just not gonna happen. So I asked you guys, which one do you think will end first and how? And I will tell you, most people say it's the Sabrina and Rich thing. I think we think that Sabrina and Rich don't need to be together because they clearly don't want the same thing. So we're like, what the f are you guys doing together anyway? But are they gonna be the ones who end first? How and why? Because Rich ain't leaving Sabrina. Sabrina is going to have to leave this man for it to actually be worth anything. Because why would he leave when he, he can get it when he wants, with no commitment? He, anyway but a lot of you guys didn't say jordan and andy which i think is very interesting because do you guys think jordan and andy are gonna be in like sisters season 28 married i don't see them making it i will say that tony and danny are going to be the one out of the three who actually make it i know i know y'all the mother two not gonna make it it's gonna be over it's a wrap a couple of other things that we spoke about in the comments. Oh my God, are you guys seeing the reflection of the light? Oh my gosh, it's so bright. You guys were doing this the whole time. Ooh, it's bright. Okay, let me pull up my notes because there was a lot of activity in the comments. The other thing, and shout out to the new people. I saw y'all comments in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, y'all, I'm so excited. I know I want to get through this so I can start the episode because I'm so excited. Okay. The other thing, and a couple of people said this, but the first person that I saw who said this was actually Sloan. Sloan mentioned, and that's a, ugh, my friend's baby's name is Sloan, and I just, I'm like, that's such a good name. And I know if you guys watch the, uh, oh my God, what is the show, what Ari, what is the show with the guys 
and one of the best friends becomes famous in the entourage. If you guys watch Entourage, yes, we know Sloan. Okay, but I just love that name. So anyway, Sloan said that Gary pulled that gun out. Zach touched it. He took the bullets out and all that good stuff. He did play tough, but Zach's fingerprints are on that gun. Did Gary do that on purpose, knowing that Zach's fingerprints would on be on that gun, so that when he kills whoever it is, whoever this is, Bubble Belly or y'all, I gotta, I gotta hold on because we talked about that in the comments too. But let real quick, is he gonna pin whatever that murder is on Zach? I didn't even think about that. So big ups to y'all, and I hope that's not a spoiler because I will be coming back to block anyone who gave full details out like I have seen some people lay out. You just, you're just not gonna make it. <laughs> this is not the page for you. So in advance, do not list any spoilers. We don't watch what's coming on next. Just stop it right there. This is a live reaction recap, which means we watch this live to get our true reactions. So you too need to get a true live reaction along with me. Second thing, that belly is ridiculous. At this point, I am almost 98 percent sure that they are trolling us there have to be they started and i really should have picked up on this they started with that little needle they used an injection needle no tourniquet no nothing to get zach's blood you used an injection needle for an extraction then that ultrasound picture y'all knew better Y'all knew that we were gonna talk about that because that looks utterly ridiculous and there is no way that made it past the cutting floor and said, yes, let's put that on television. There's no way. So y'all are dropping these little nuggets throughout the episode to make us wanna talk about it. Let me tell you right now. Oh, oh, and of course the baby belly thing. Who said this? Seeing her belly burst as if it was a balloon and the paint, red paint come out on the ground was crazy to me, but I didn't actually Think of it like properly. If you, somebody hits your belly, they're not gonna bust it open so that fluid and blood can come out of your skin. It's going to come out of your regime. This joint had it come out of her stomach, y'all, her stomach was flat. They are trolling us. I rebuke this in the second half of this season. I rebuke it, y'all. You don't have to do it and we won't stand for it. But nonetheless, I'm so excited. I have no idea what this episode is going to bring us. Oh, yes, I do. They're going to tell us what's happening with the babies. And are they going to arrest Zach for killing Penelope? Because she's going to die. Or is he going to kill Hudson? Hudson's going to walk in on her and see that he killed her. And so he's going to have to shoot him. Mm. Mm. But what's going to happen with Danny and Jordan and Andy? Like, there's so much happening on the other side. Oh, I'm going to take this off because it's so high, y'all. <sighs> make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you stick around and engage in the comments because i'm so excited to talk about whatever this episode brings y'all and they said it's not coming back until may 22nd april 22nd whatever it is that's a long time away are we getting to team of season three in the middle you better reveal yourself because i'm here for it i'm also here for a little sabbatical <laughs> so i'm here for that too but let's get to it y'all all right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this Tyler Perry Sisters on BET Season 7 mid-season finale. Let's go. Okay, let's see how long this actually lasts because I'm, I'm hot. Oh, my. he bought the cleaning crew? He used to this. He got a cleaning crew, y'all. You know how long. This ain't your first rodeo, fam. He killed that other girl, too. Damn. You've been a messy boy this time. Who the are you calling him boy? Facts. Let's not call it black man boy. Where's Penelope? Is she just dead? <laughs> time out. Is she dead? Okay, time out. You woke up screaming. Not Andy having a connection to Penelope or to Gary that she feels this. Y'all know I believe in that, right? Hear me out. But I don't know why I would be a random person. Y'all ever had... This is gonna make me feel like I'm crazy, but you know, I think... God, this whole God and energy thing, I think this is real. And how you feel, people be like, oh, I have a hunch or my intuition. You call it whatever you want. That's the big dog upstairs. Let me tell you, he is giving you signs, hints, nudges, whatever it is. I remember having, I'm sitting down at work and I had this weird feeling and I was just like, 
no, no, no. Like I started saying no, like something over me came, something came over me to say the word no. Now, I did, obviously I didn't scream it because I'm at work, but I just remember thinking like, no, no, no. And I'm like saying like, no, no. Guess what? Then called me and told me she had a miscarriage. Oops, let me, did I, should I put you out there? Anyway, this connection, y'all, we, we feel it. You must have been having one hell of a dream. It's called a night. Yes, so. Wait a minute. Hey. Wait, this, but this happened. This is not Andy's dream. No, no, no. And there was blood everywhere. Girl, yes. if this was Andy's dream. How long were they doing? 20 minutes into the movie. Question number one. Well, question number one really is, has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had a poll and then someone told you, or have you ever called somebody and was like, yo, are you okay? Like something just made me think about you. And then you call them and you find out, oh my goodness, at this time. Yo, another time when this happened to me, I'm sitting down again at work. I need to stop working so much. But this is at my other job. And my SVP left already. And me and my other coworker were like, you know what? She's gone. She's no longer with the company. But like, we still want to remember her. Her birthday passed. Her birthday was probably a month ago at this point. And I was like, yo, Marissa, you want to get her something? Like, we should just send her something to let her know that even though she's not part of his team anymore, we still remember her. We still remember her birthday. And let's just send her something. Y'all, the day that I have that feeling and I say, let's send her something. Mind you, that moment, we actually send her something. We wound up sending her, this was early in my career, we wound up sending her like one of those gift uh, boxes that had like, I, we didn't know if she was a flower person. She didn't seem like a flower person. So we started like pretzels and popcorn. Like, you know what I'm like, gift bins that have all the, not fruits, but like snacks and stuff in it. So we wound up sending that to her and her partner. And um, then we find out a week later that she passed away. And guess when she passed away? Yup. So for me in my house, whenever I get a feeling where I think about someone or I want to call someone or I'm just sitting down in the most random moments and for some reason you pop up in my mind, I'm going to hit you up. Because I remember not doing that once and I remember some up and I was like, damn, you crazy because you were on my heart. And look at this, look at this. So my question to you guys is, do you believe in that? Has that ever happened to you? Question number two is a little more lighthearted. If you and your partner, if you and your roommate, if you and your friend watch something together, whether you're watching a series together or whether you guys sit down and watch a movie together and they fall asleep and it's not their first time, you continue it or you pause it? These are valid questions. Pick up, Jordan. We need you to feel a little more. <laughs> walking around with a bop. Question number three. Can you tell when somebody has some good good? I feel like I could tell that in like, <laughs> I hate to say this, in like uh, teens or younger people. Like I could tell, oh, oh, you smashed before or oh, you a virgin still. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I could tell that. But with grown folks, I don't know. The evening I had would have been too. Oh, okay. so Miss Marie Willis is in her office. Yo, Marie. Y'all see that her colors are Andy and Fatima's together? Also, Fatima, I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell you this. You need to let me know when she's here in advance, okay? Oh, she pissed. Also, big ups to everybody in the comments. I know I'm talking a lot. Big ups to everybody in the comments who knew exactly who this woman was. Y'all are some soap people and now it makes sense why Tyler Perry makes a soap and there are so many fans because y'all been watching all my children days of, the, days of our lives and all that. <laughs> and he really pulled all these black folk from the soaps and I love it. You know what? Because it makes sense. You make a bunch of episodes at a time so you're known for knowing your lines so he has a lot more confidence in you that you will be able to know your lines for this show. Nice of you to finally show up to work today. Oh, I now one thing you will learn about me, okay? But you're not, you're not gonna talk to yes. me like this, okay? Miss Marie Willis, I, I apologize. And wait a minute, but if you're a billion dollar uh, client and I get a percentage off to that, maybe, maybe you, you, you can. And if Miss Marie or just Marie 
calm this down, sis. Was my raging but calm this down, sis, okay? What brings you in today? What else? <laughs> what brings you in? Okay. Hey girl, what's up? Sabrina, we yeah. like this little yeah. fit. Okay. Just drinking this expensive ass coffee so I can face another day of bullshit in this bank. Girl, we get some magic girls to riches to shop for some mock. Come on, another okay. impromptu okay. scheduling. Am I doing that for? I must be. Look, you're pregnant, obviously. Expecting baby and me. I'm pregnant. Yeah. Not drinking because I'm doing the hormone. Thing. So she can just oh yeah, on it's good to have somebody else going through this who's not drinking with you. I remember my homegirl was like, she is Muslim, so she doesn't typically drink. Well, she does sometimes, but maybe I shouldn't say that. But she ain't really a drinker, and I'm like, I only drink socially, and I really don't like the taste of it. So when I was like, oh yeah, I'm not drinking, she was like. I'm just so happy to have someone else here with me who isn't drinking as well. Cause you know all the questions that you get with that. Ugh, crazy. I'm making a whole TikTok if it doesn't get banned. Just to go through all the things people have said to me when I say, oh no, I don't I don't wanna drink, I'm good. My God, y'all, get out of people's business. You say the girls, you mean. Also, remember last week when I said, um, I was talking about how I like the real humans that play these characters sometimes more than the characters here and i was like oh i don't really know anything about karen or ebony and so i said you know what Donna michelle that's not an excuse so i went to her page and i got to know what she presents a little more and oh my god did y'all know that this woman is a whole humanitarian i said wait a minute all right do i really like her most what a good soul. Come on, Karen. What's wrong with the team, huh? Girl, why are you asking? Wait, wait, wait. I think, I think they're bugging right now. I, I think that Sabrina is actually bugging right now. You know the issues that Karen has with Fatima. Whether you agree with them or not, you understand that you want to have a little meeting and get together with your friends. That includes Karen. There's no reason why you should think to push Fatima on her right now. Don't do it. They haven't even had like a calm setting and now you're gonna force this on her? I don't even think you should even be asking that, right? Am I bugging? I mean, what is it about this chick that has my ex and my oldest friend that keeps bringing this chick around mm -hmm. me? Damn, yeah, think okay. about that. She got her ex and her friends. Okay, that's a little tight for her, y'all. Yeah. personal calm set now that you're branch manager. Um, and yeah. She got the job! That's good, because we're going to sue you for it anyway. So, good choice, India. You are Brookhaven Bank and Trust, latest branch manager. Latest re branch manager. More coffee. She said, More expensive coffee. Since I got the money now. Baby daddy is, yeah. Daddy, shut up. Oh, yeah, I've been holding your ass down since freshman year. Oh, and we were talking about I would like to see a flashback of them. Nope, nobody said they wanted to see this. Huh. I still think they should do like a small flashback of them in college. Cause there's definitely some like status differences that make these women unique. But you're in college, everyone is at the same level. Y'all are new, you're freshmen, you're on this campus trying to start a new life, trying to develop new friendships. I wanna know what they were like then. Like Andy, you didn't come on the scene rich. We knew you came from humble beginnings. Danny, yes, you came from humble beginnings, but did that put you on an even playing field with these women? Because I still think that Danny feels like she's in competition with all of them. That's why she drinks and hoes and does all this shit. whatever. I wonder what they were like before the real world hit. So you will be okay if I hung out with Tony's ex-wife? Come on. And what That's not the same comparison. The one that he uh, married in spite of being in love with you? You ain't got nothing to say now, huh? Okay. See, you know what? I, I don't, I don't think that's kind, because you're doing it to me. But when I bring up a similar situation and you don't like it, now you're mad at me. But that's what you're doing to me, right? Yeah. Oh, come on, Pam and Cassie. I see you. Me too, girl. No, you can't tell us a Cassie. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, you don't usually apologize for yelling at me. Yeah. When have we ever heard Karen say sorry? Like to today? <gasps> they like, about to make Pam a, a sister? I like Pam as an extra. I had no idea. 
Not so much as a sister. I like her just for Karen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's studying. And you scared me. Oh, this shirt confuses me. I cannot afford it. From Maggie and April Stills. You know it's. Atlanta people, is that a real place? No. She calling to invite her right away. You so petty. Wait, does that mean that Karen's gonna be there? Yes, girl. Yeah, I don't know, Danny. Wait, is Zach telling her that and go? I think you should go. Okay, I feel a little weird about this because I hear you saying push her to go. Y'all might have more in common. Maybe this is a good thing. It hasn't been working for us that you guys haven't been around each other. But my whole problem here is that Fatima has been having to resolve this. Karen has been having to resolve this. They, the two women who don't have anything in common but this middle man, have been trying to figure this out and resolve this and create a relationship and all that. Zach, you are the fucking common denominator. You are the person who did all this. It should be your responsibility. I do not like that now he is putting it on her again. So now Fatima, you should go. Y'all should develop a relationship. No me gusta. SWV and Escape would have to co-headline the tour before Karen and I make up. Just saying. I knew he was gonna Oh, no shit. she said co-headline. He didn't. You wanna me? No, man. I am still at work. Thank you, Fatima, for realizing you are in the office because no one has ever <laughs> realized that before. So, do you really believe that a gag order can stop anyone from blabbing to the media? Yes, in if I put a, a price behind it. Let them know we refuse to have this case Look at, look, look at him. Look at him. If you're, I knew you needed co-counsel. No, I assure you. Sorry, I got I'm you. bored with this. Fabulous See, luck. I used to like her. And now, I don't like how she's acting. Everything in that trust, including LLC's sole proprietor. And anything she made property. during the relationship? Everything. You are officially Andy's co-counsel. I thought he was her co-counsel before. Decision. I strongly advise you. You know what? I, I got to start thinking like this. You know what I'm saying? You are paying the lawyers. The lawyers work for you. Just like Real Housewives of Potomac when Michael Darby, I don't know if y'all watch this. Michael Darby took the baby to the hospital or to the doctor. And he started asking the doctor all these questions. All right, fam, tell me about your experience with this illness or whatever it was i think he had something in his ear tell me how many times you had success with this surgery tell me how many times you didn't tell me how many times like what research have you seen like he was asking her questions meanwhile i go into it like oh doctor you're an expert yes i'm paying you but you're the expert and i should just trust you no ask questions same here i look at my lawyers like oh y'all know best no you need to be doing this for me i am paying you I used to say, what would a white man do? But now it's, what would Miss Willis do? So do they have partner? Uh, Andy actually has <laughs> some great so ideas. Bad. Maurice, you back to this? I guess you never left. What if it's Grayson? Oh, she gonna tell him he can stop doing this. But he's making more money over here, but does he want to? What did they just want? What they call us? What are you doing here? What's that called? A flood. It's only an hour. I do not have to worry about Paige anymore. She fired her? What you mean? So you know how she and I were both up for branch management. Uh -huh. India had no... Oh. Mm, this is a little different, but I guess it got to the result we wanted. Paige got herself fired, so Sabrina was next in line. Would Sabrina have gotten it if Paige was still working? Do we care? Sabrina, uh, I want to make a confession. He knew what? that white woman? Uh Yo, you loyalist worries. Maurice, come back to the branch with me. He can still do both. With that. If you want. Bitch. So this is the mid-season oh, end for Sabrina and Maurice. Okay, so that's her story. We got the three other ladies. What are we going to do there? Because I think Fatima and Karen are going to be together. No. Thank you for always having my back. Maybe we have four ladies left. Let's see how they end their stories and keep us on the line for next episode. I can take it. said, now that we're besties. Since you invited me out outside of work, right. it's officially over. Is this woman like my role model? And who's your role model? You! Yeah. I was going to say, you got to change the way you built this. Julia Kate, because you are superwoman. Aw, this is a nice moment. 
Oh. She like, now you can get as much time as you want, girl. Stop touching pregnant people's bellies without permission, no. Oh, that made her feel so good. Karen needed that. Okay, what do we need? What do we need to close Tony and Danny? The kids are gonna write her something nice or they're gonna meet up again and say like, we really miss you. Or Carisha is gonna tell her she doesn't need to see her every week. She only needs to see her every other week. Like, what are we, what are we doing with Danny? Oh, he got her a pearl necklace. The replacement. It's that VP money. Oh. You better know oh. real pearls versus fake ones. <laughs> That's a genuine Danny smile. Don't let them kids come in again. What are you doing? Come on, you know what I want. Get up here on the desk. Yeah. I sent her home. Jordan, you need a little bit of that. You see the aggression that Tony has? You need a little bit of that, okay? Devin, I'm just, look at the frosted door. I'm just uh, so proud of y'all. Is everything okay, though? Nope. Should my ears be burning? <laughs> nope. You can get out now. You know, Fatima, um, could you please give us the wrong... Andy, you ain't have to do that. You ain't have to give Hayden the, the say so right now. You could have let Fatima stay in here. He shouldn't be bitching out your secretary. That has nothing to do with him. Assistant, whatever. Did she hit him? <laughs> what are you playing at, Hayden? He, he's, he's playing at partner. Scratch that. Sis. What do, what do you mean? Put on your co counsel. He doesn't want you to have the and biggest the case in client? the company. So he's gonna put his name on it too, so you can so that he can be equal partner. Okay. They're a little too close. What's about to happen? It's not gonna be you, little girl. Ooh, it says not gonna be you, little girl. That's a that's a good suit, Jordan. That's a good suit. That's right. What is this? What's happening? Oh, his campaign manager. Okay. Um, it's important that he was working for the military, right? Is this gonna come back? When Gary tries to come for him, he's gonna have some training? Okay. I wanna be a part of the solution, not the problem. Come on, Ally! I like that. Bottle of water if you got it. Oh, I just happen to have it right here. Here you go. I, I apologize. Man, you had the job before you walked to the door. Was that too easy? Should we be worried? Did Gary send him? Mm -hmm. Hudson what? You better have some good news for me. <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, yep. Talk to me. This is good. This is good to keep us on the line because now we know that there will be more coming where Gary is gonna fuck up his shit. This is good. You guys did good on this one, okay? Ooh, are we so gonna end with think? a breakup between Sabrina that and Rich? Is, delicious. is that a is bag? It? It's something for the baby? Not a first one. Mm -hmm. Oh, for her new Yeah. You saw Considerate, but you don't want no kids. That's crazy. <laughs> Must be given then. <laughs> and you're so stupid. Thanks for coming. Sabrina. Pull that up, Sabrina. Pull Where's that up. Yeah. Karen is gonna walk in and see Fatima's bright pink outfit sitting down in the middle. I didn't know you were gonna be here. We could have worked together. That's weird, y'all. Yeah, I thought it might be best if I drove my own car just in case some drama pops up. Oh, no. oh, that's valid. But I still would have told her we're in the same okay, location. Be a part of the group. Oh, she bought backup with Pam. Look, it's the black and the white, and look, the pink and the red. Y'all did that on purpose. I like it. Hey, little Michael. These things. The pulp of every major food group? Question number 73. Y'all like your orange juice with pulp? I remember I asked this before, but answer. Oh, Give me extra right. pulp. Blue top, extra pulp. She moved away from the airport nips to a whole flask, y'all. Get your friend Danny, please. Now, I will say, I don't like how it's black and white, because, you know, black is usually, like, viewed as the evil, and white is viewed as, like, the right, the glow, you know, heavenly, and black is, like, dark and grim and sad and mysterious and evil. Why y'all got Karen looking like she's wrong right now? I don't like it. And Andy got the black on that transition suit. We should know that Danny's selfish by now. It's been many years. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. You might want to stop acting so evil. You're going to mark the natives. <laughs> may, may not be his. 
Did you say something? Did you hear me? Trust me. Then why you mumble under your breath? Don't do that. Bitch, I ain't gotta explain shit to you. Oh, bitch. Bitch. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is not going well. Zach needs to regulate. Y'all gotta stop trying to do this on your. How many times have we seen y'all attempt this and get the same fucking result? Something needs to change. I ain't even friends with you anymore. Who? Zach, stay with you. Move in with you, boy. Bosom buddies with the bitches trying to stop him from being a Stop calling her children. Bitch, Thank you. And you need to shut the bottle. You know you like that. Ooh. Ooh. Look, I know what her ass right now because she's pregnant. I'm staring her. But I will text you. Come on, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you are guilty by association, Pam, if you're going to get in this. Same thing. If somebody. You know, hit my kid, and I done spoke to their parents enough. Your kid keep bullying my kid. It's gonna be a problem. Either my kid's gonna whoop your kid's ass if you don't regulate it, or now you and I got a problem. Pam, you are the you and I. So watch out. No T Y. Don't love me. Google me. I'm on Twitter, bitch. <laughs> Shut up, yeah. Pam. Yeah. <laughs> Relax. Mr. Brennan, I can't take you seriously until you pull that little two top up. They save some friendships. They just run their course. Ooh. You know what? Now that's true. You already got the man. <laughs> What's the feel of loose ends? My baby. Ooh. Ah, come on, babe. Let's go. But Carrie. Wait. I'm taking my juice with me. One. Roof to riches, bitches. <laughs> Shut Never up, heard of it. Oh. I'm taking my juice with me. I'm taking my friend with me. And I'm not mad. This situation has me very stressed out. I'm carrying and building two human beings right now. They should have a little more consideration for her. Like y'all didn't have to see Fatima now. Yes, Fatima can be y'all friend, but does she have to come to this event right now? Am I wilding y'all? That's I answer that because I don't want you to have to be like you're sharing custody where like you have to do some events with Fatima. You have to do some events with Karen. Like obviously y'all want to be around each other all the time. Even though y'all can quickly schedule events in this group, you can do it. But maybe you don't want to feel that way. But if Karen is your friend, why are you doing it? I guess Danny is showing that Karen's not a friend. And you know what? Was it the last mid-season that ended with Danny like flipping out on all the girls and like telling them about each other? Now it's Karen's turn. Also, yeah, Fatima maybe. and Pam having beef is making she me sad. You know what? She might be right. This friendship might be over. Goodbye. You know what's crazy? This sh be happening. And it makes the dynamics of the group like go a little wonky. Cause these are five, six women here. All six of them might not be friends throughout every phase of their lives. And that makes it weird for the group. I don't know if y'all have had that happen, but I have. And the two friends that fell out, I was only friends with one of them because she was friends with the other one anyway. Like, obviously we were, you know, we came as a group, but, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, and now there's three. Have you worked for my sister? Maybe it's the pregnancy, you know, she's probably yo, sleeping like Yo, yo, who said, I forgot to mention this, somebody also mentioned that they think the demise of Andy and Jordan will be that Andy knew about the shit with Penelope and Gary and didn't tell Jordan. I'm sure she'll call you when she Why are you me. not telling him? Uh, let me know if you're Why wouldn't she? Okay. What's going on? Hey, baby. Oh, he have to go Damn, to Sabrina. Party. This sucks. Sorry, you're Sabrina. Dead, so okay, last five minutes of the season, mid-season finale. They're gonna find Penelope dead or tied up or in his little makeshift hospital that he has her in a little lair. I know that sounds crazy, but anything is possible. Cause we can't get rid of Gary. Cause this new character who is uh, Jordan's campaign manager is gonna ride with us at least through the end of this full season. So that wouldn't make sense unless Gary was still around. So Gary's not going to die or leave or whatever. So that was Danny, that was Karen, that was Sabrina. Yeah, we gotta end out uh, Andy and Gary. Or Andy, Penelope and Jordan. Mm. You know, the best time. about the security in here. Facts. Also, 
Here's, here's another. Oh, this is why she bought reinforcement, though. See, Penelope, this is what you should have done. You should have brought somebody who bang bangs a little bit. Andy said, I'm going to come up in here real tough, but I'm going to make sure I'm going to bring the woman who got the guns. That's why you messed up, Penelope. Will you please tell your minion here that I do not speak Rottweiler? <laughs> I thought he was going to call her dog. I hate him. Oh! You ain't gonna be You're not going to do it, though. No, no. He knows oh, that. Geez, see, 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 I don't like this either. Don't pull some shit out unless you're going to use it. I don't want you to use it right now either. Um, also, I know you're not. So I don't like that. Because now it's showing him that you're going to pull some shit out, but you don't have the guts to use it. And he's going to use that against you later. I don't like and that, Don't pull the thing out unless you oh, hit the bang. I would cut him up a little bit, though. Remind me. And they're gonna find a piece of her fabric or blood or something on the floor. He does not care. Uh oh. What's gonna happen with Aaron? Oh. Ooh, I thought Aaron was gonna pop up. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you for having me. Wait. This is not the same day, but she's in black. This is a different black outfit. But the doctor said they wanted to see her tomorrow, right? That would have been now. If this is now evening. That means she already knows what the issue was that the doctor called about. That today. What is it? And why don't we know? Also, thanks, Pam. You ain't got no oh, ID? I'm sorry. That's quite alright. Did one of your babies die? No, I'm not antsy. I'm antsy. You know, Mr. Taylor is the father of one of the two fetuses here. We already knew it. Um, I'm we sorry. Knew it. We already knew. We already knew. And I hate that this is how y'all had this end. Because now this isn't anything crazy exciting. We already knew this. Damn. I wanted Fatima and Angie to be like, oh, is that blood? Like, I needed something else. Y'all, we knew this and y'all knew y'all was setting it up the whole season for us to know this exact thing. So this isn't special for us. <gasps> Woof. Uh, I still liked it though. Cause the part with the girls arguing, with Pam coming in, with Pam and Fatima getting in it, like that's something I didn't predict. So I like that part and that little arguing back and forth and leaving us in limbo as to what's the status of this sister's circle group that they talk about. But I needed something that I didn't know was gonna happen. I needed y'all to give me a, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Even last episode with the Penelope thing, we knew Gary was going to do something, but that was an oh my God moment. I didn't get an oh my God here. Y'all set us up too much. Next season, next half of the season, at that finale, y'all probably already recorded it, but whatever you do, go back and edit. Take out the parts that feed us to know exactly what's going on. Throw something in there that has no, like we got no trickles, no trails about. Even the campaign manager, I kind of thought it because it was a little weird, but you know what I'm saying? Something like that would be like, nothing in the season said that that would happen. You know, so like, give us something special, something new. I mean, I'm still gonna watch. I'm coming back to see what's going on, to see how she's gonna tell Zach, if she's gonna tell Zach that it's only one. And then does she call Aaron? Does Aaron need to get tested again for this next joint? Woo! So she didn't, she didn't lie with those papers then. Because Aaron must have tested the baby that was Zach's. And so it came back negative. But why was the paper blank? That's another question, y'all. Why was that paper blank? That's weird. Was Karen really that crazy? Mm. I don't know. All right, the last question before we end this is based on these first 11 episodes. We got five, seven, 25,000 new writers. Two, I think, new directors. Do you guys prefer these, this new set? Or do you guys prefer the Tyler Perry set? Sound off in the comments. Let me know. Let us know. Let's talk. I don't know when I'm going to see y'all again. If there's going to be a Zatima season three. If so, then I'll see y'all there. If not, I will see you when Sisters Returns in several weeks until then please take care of yourselves the sun is coming out that means the guns are coming out too and i don't mean these <laughs> but the guns are coming out i am freezing my eggs i've already started the process so um by the next time y'all see me the little eggs will be out and i will be back to being a normal human 
But yeah, I'm excited, guys. Enjoy your time away. I will miss you. Please don't have any crazy life moments. But if you do, come back and tell us because we know you. But don't change your profile picture. I asked somebody. I said, you know what? This name looks familiar. Did you change your profile picture? Let me know. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me for this first half of Tyler Perry's Sister Season 7 with new writers and new directors. I'm super excited to have you guys come back for the next half of the season. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you do know when that comes back and when the next season drops. If you miss me so much and you're not friends with me across other socials, make sure you head over to From Rizzo With Love on Instagram, on Twitter slash X, on TikTok, on all the above because now that I'll have some free time from this, I will be putting out some other content that I've had in the tuck. So if, if TikTok doesn't get banned, okay. But yeah guys, please always remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye y'all. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.